Hello and welcome to the place where you will be able to learn a lot in a short period of time. Believe me, you will enjoy. In the first part of the course, I will share you all required knowledge for drawing a game character even if you are a complete beginner. So let's start. First, I will draw a basic shape of the head using rounded rectangle tool and black color from my palette. Ok, we have the basic shape of the head, I will increase it a bit. I want to make this corner sharp, hence I will add another rectangle to avoid the same rounded corner. Now I can make one shape out of them using Pathfinder, then Unite tool. I will draw another round rectangle and place the eyes of the character there. I will choose skin color to paint this part. Now I can draw the eyes using ellipse tool. This is the first eye. It will be black. I will put it here and using command Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus F to make another eye. I will also use the shape of the eye to create a nose. Copy it once, use darker skin color to paint and we have the nose. Right now I am adding a few extra details that will make our characters a real fighter. Using rectangle tool I will create Rumble style head strip. Already looks like a real fighter. The eyebrows are next. This is the first one. Now I will copy it and rotate the other by 45 degrees. By doing that I am able to achieve this angry look. For the mouth I will be also using round rectangle tool. The mouth will be dark red. I will decrease them a bit. I will copy the shape of the mouth and place here the new shape. You can paint it lighter red color and we have the tone of angry character. Now I am selecting two shapes and using the white tool in Pathfinder. That way I can divide shapes between blue outlines. I am ungrouping all the shapes and deleting the one that I don't need anymore. The mouth is finished, the ear is next. It will be very simple, made from two circles. The first circle is painted in skin color. Now I will copy it, decrease it and paint it darker skin color. I will remove this part of the ear and make it look more natural. I will draw another rectangle and use Unite tool the same way as the mouth. Our characters look pretty good already. I will add some details on the head strip and make it more interesting. The head strip knot can be seen behind the head, so I will draw it now. First, I will draw a circle. After that, I will draw another round rectangle and using the same trick as I did with the hair, I will make two corners sharp. Now I will join the shapes and place it above the head. Copy it and that's it. I will add another small details to the hair. The hero's head is finished, now it's time for the body. Using round rectangle tool I will draw the first part of the arm. Rotate it by 45 degrees and copy it for the second part of the arm. I will be a bit darker and place behind the first part of the arm. In order for these two parts to be learning precisely against each other, I will use tools in a line panel. The arm will be placed here. I will add another small detail, the thumb. The front arm of the character is finished. The proportion of the shapes are very important, but you can always go back and make them even better. Now I will copy the front arm and simply use it for the back arm. I will copy it with Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus F. This arm will have the same color except the thumb. It will be a bit lighter. The closer an object is to us, the brighter it will need to be. By doing this you will achieve deep of the fill. 
I will use round rectangle tool to draw the body. I will divide it. This will be the upper part and this will be the lower part of the central body. The lower part will be black and we will use it as pants. Cool! At the end I will draw legs. Very simple, just by using round rectangle tool and taking the lower part of the shape. I will use round rectangle and minus front in Pathfinder. This is one leg. For the other, I will copy the first one. Now I can play a little with the proportion of the shape to achieve a perfect look. Only left to add is a shadow and our hero is finished. Cool! I am very satisfied how it looks. And this is the end of the first part. In the next one I will show you how to prepare it for After Effects. See you in the next part!